Good morning. Welcome to this service of Holy Communion for the sixth Sunday after Trinity. As always, we meet in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our first hymn, There is a Redeemer. Almighty God, forgive us our sins and bring us each to everlasting life. The collect for the sixth Sunday after Trinity. Creator God, you made us all in your image. May we discern you in all that we see and serve you in all that we do. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our gospel comes from the gospel of Matthew, chapter 13. Jesus put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds amongst the wheat and then went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared as well. And the slaves of the householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? And he answered, an enemy has done this. The slave said to him, don't you want us to go and gather them? But he replied, no, for in gathering the weeds you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time I will tell the reapers, collect the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. Then Jesus left the crowds and went into the house and his disciples approached him saying, 
explained to us the parable of the weeds of the field. He answered, the one who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. And the good seed are the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age. And the reapers are angels. Just as the weeds are collected and burnt up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels and they will collect out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all evil to it. And they will throw them into the furnace of fire where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun of the kingdom of their father. Let anyone then with ears, let them listen. This is the gospel of the Lord. Our gospel reading this morning is all about judgment. It's not a subject you hear people talk about a lot these days, but there is a cost of following Jesus. We may be persecuted for what we believe in. People may ridicule us for what we believe in. But ultimately, at the end of time, good through the cross of Jesus Christ has conquered evil. And there will be a, a separation, as Jesus says el elsewhere in his parables. The sheep and the goats will be separated. Here, the weeds are separated out from the wheat. The wheat will be gathered into God's barn and the weeds will be gathered up and burnt and destroyed. What's the difference between the wheat and the weeds? They represent two groups of people. The weeds are those who are members of the kingdom, those who have decided to follow Jesus. And the weeds are not, just like the sheep are the followers of Jesus and the goats are not. There will be, at the end of time, a reckoning, a time not of my choosing or your choosing, but the choosing of God our Father. And so Jesus is warning us, judgment will come and there will be a separation at the end of time. And so he's saying to us, make sure you are a sheep of my fold, a wheat in my field. Otherwise, you will be separated out and cast from my presence forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. We pray for the unity of the Church in its witness and in its proclamation of the Gospel. Pray for this Diocese of St Albans, this parish of Barton the Clay, and for our bishops, Alan, Michael and Richard. We pray for the peace and stability of all peoples and for the leaders of the nations. Pray for all those with responsibility for dealing with the pandemic that is still raging amongst us and across the world. We pray for all those involved in medical research and the search for a vaccine. We pray for all places of work, education and leisure. We pray that all places of work will be safe, that all places of education will continue to be safe and be made ready for the return of all pupils in September. We pray for all places of leisure, particularly leisure centres, now allowed to reopen. We pray also for a blessing on our homes, for our relations and friends and all those whom we love. We pray too for the sick and suffering and all who minister to their needs at home or in hospital. And we remember also those who have died. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. These prayers we make in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen.
may these gifts become for us our spiritual food and drink. Amen. The Lord is here. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy, at all times and in all places, to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, for he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead, and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit, and made us a people for your own possession. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine, may be to us his body and his blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Accept through him, therefore, our great High Priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your Divine Majesty, renew us by your Spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Bread and wine, God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy, Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen.
Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. If you're able to donate money towards the work of this church, please would you avail yourself of the donate button on our website. Thank you. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and those whom you love this day and forevermore. Amen. Our final hymn, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. Amen.